of raisins. Why do we eat expired food? Like <laughs> raisins, <laughs> raisins, they're expired grapes. Like I don't they understand. Are. They're dried up as grapes. Like I understand. Like if we were in the Great Depression, you know, like I get it. Yes. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. But why do people buy expired food? I don't get it. <laughs> it's not just buying them. It's that we keep we keep inserting raisins into perfectly fine things. Like cookies. That were like before raisins. Like why did we add potato these? salad? Cookies. Like why are why are the the, the non melanated crew doing that? Why are they doing that? Why are they putting raisins in whoa. things that don't be- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait Why a minute! Raisins Don't put this on raisins. us! <laughs> Y'all started it. Okay. No. Alright? I can't tell you how many... Ha- it's For whatever reason, this is just a grandmom thing. White, black, or Chinese, it don't matter. You go into a house, grandmom's got cookies, and you go, oh, these are some nice chocolate chip cookies. Oh, no. And then you bite into it, and it's not chocolate chip cookies. It's a fucking raisin cookie. Honestly, that is the most depressing shit ever. Every time I've bitten into a cookie thinking it was chocolate chip and it was oatmeal raisin, not only do I gag a little bit, but I get extremely angry. <laughs> get extremely angry. Furious. <laughs> Kenny's dying right now. If you're on Patreon and you're looking at the video of this episode, Kenny is dying. I almost made him spit out his water. I hate raisin. But yeah, I'm not a fan of raisinets. And every time I see somebody buy raisinets, I just think like what went wrong in their life? Like where <laughs> like where did the where did the school system fail them? Like where did their parents uh-huh. go wrong? You yeah, know? like what childhood trauma did they go through to make them say, you know what? I want right now. I could eat anything in this movie theater. I want fucking raisinets. You know what that reminds me of? I, go ahead, Dom. Go ahead. I was thinking that like, if I think the name raisins makes them a little bit worse than they, <laughs> because if they were called like sun dried grapes, I think more people would be going up for like sun dried grapes. But we call I them raisins. Agree. The name raisin doesn't sound good. Like when I think about raisins, sounds right, terrible. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. Like it doesn't it doesn't roll off the tongue in a way that makes me think like, oh yeah, I want that. Because I love grapes. I actually love grapes, by Same. the way. Same. Same. I can just eat grapes. But when you tell me to eat raisins, I'm like, well, you go fuck yourself. How about that? How about that? <laughs> yeah, I mean I don't I don't eat expired food, so <laughs> Yeah, I'm just not a fan. But the, you know the the raisin and the cookies thing reminded me of? Speaking of candy, you got you know, like whoopers, right? It's like chocolate and they're like crunchy on the inside. Yeah. Every box of whoopers, they like sneak milk duds in there. It'll just be like, you ever like bite into what you think is a whooper from a box of whoopers, but it's not crunchy on the inside. It's just like a milk dud instead. So what is, what, what is the difference between that and a milk dud? Is a milk dud filled with something? Milk dud, if I... They're, I like, not, caramel, they're right? like not crunchy. Yeah, yeah. I think they're more like like caramel. Yeah. Like they're not, instead of being crunchy on the inside. Yeah, because like whoopers, cr- yeah, whoopers are definitely crunchy. You know what it is though? I just want to say this while we're on the topic of Ubers. I was going to bring this up once we got to it, but that shit kind of grinds up, up against my teeth in a way that's unpleasant now. I don't yeah. really like biting into Whoopers. It kind of like, you know, like uh, nails on a chalkboard. It kind of gives yeah, yeah. me that vibe when I bite into a Whooper. Sometimes it crunches in a wrong way and it kind of skeeves me out. I don't know. It's weird. And I'm, I'm really weird with textures. I, are they called Whoopers? Are they actually called Whoopers? Uh, once again, what do you call them? I thought they were called Whoppers. I literally, I don't no know way. for a fact. I there's can't two O's. There's two O's. It, it is two O's. Mm-hmm. I can't call them Whoppers because that's a, isn't that's that a, a burger? Meal? It's a burger. Yeah, it's a burger. <laughs> but I've yeah, been calling I, them Whoppers my whole life. I'm so, oh my God. But I well, think, I mean, I think honestly, if there's two O's, it's got to be Whooper. I think. Yeah, it has to be Whoopers. If it's Whoppers, then I, my whole childhood is a lie. Because I used to go up for those. Because they used to come in a carton, right? Then they come in an actual carton like milk. They still do. Yeah. Oh, they still do? Okay. Yeah, I haven't had. I mean, I'm sure while. there's like different packaging, but I know you can still get them like in a carton. Do you guys like Butterfingers? Remember the, the Simpsons commercials we always used to get for Butterfingers? They're okay. They're like C tier. That's how I feel. So Butterfingers are like very, very. Spe- there's like a time where you want specifically a Butterfinger. You know what it is? Reese's exist. I think that's the problem. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, think that's the, I think that the problem with Butterfingers, that Reese's simply exist. And every time people, you can have a Butterfinger, you could just have a fucking Reese's. You just get a Reese's. The same people that like Butterfingers, which is crunchy peanut butter, like crunchy peanut butter. And the people that like crunchy peanut butter probably like raisins. So they probably off eat raisinets instead of eating <laughs> Butterfingers like they could be. Jesus. 
Why do you have to go in on them like that? Right. Like, just leave them alone. At the very I never understood least, the crunchy peanut butter thing. Like it didn't make sense. Like but Chico there's like a time where it's cool. You remember Chico sticks? Was that a thing in your area? Unfortunately, because of D4L. Okay, so you do know Chico sticks? Yeah, Chico sticks. People used to love. I never was a fan. I was never a fan of that. Was some ghetto ass candy to me, or whatever you want to call it. That I shit ne- was so ghetto. I never understood it. You got it because like it was ghetto. But you also got it at the same ghetto ass store you could just get a Reese's from. Yes, like like the poppy I don't store. understand why you would ever you, get a Chico, you get Chico stick. Chico sticks from a poppy store, and I don't understand why your we're choices like a, are. You can like a cow right. tail. Like I'm not buying a cow tail. Ew! Like get that shit out of here. <laughs> What's on the outside of a Chico stick? What is that? I don't know what it is. It's just orange. It's just the color orange. <laughs> it's just stuff. Like you're it's just, just like they the roll it around on the floor. <laughs> you're, you're eating leftover floor. You're actually just eating fucking leftover floor, crunchy leftover floor. I don't oh, know no. what it is, like, though, Dom. Seriously, it's I, disgusting because like it looks like when my like when your grandma like don't step in that trash and then you step in the trash. That's like what it. Oh, it does. <laughs> Yo, I swear to God, I swear to God, the visual for that is so accurate. <laughs> Oh, don't step oh my in God. that trash, yo! Don't step in that trash is crazy. Oh. I'm sweating oh, because no. I literally know exactly what you mean when you look down at it because you almost stepped in it and you see it like, looks like a Chico stick. It looks like crunched up Chico stick. Oh. that's why I hate it for him. I hate it for him. I really yeah, do. no, you're absolutely right though. Okay, so I am a big fan of peanut chews. I I don't know how you guys feel about them, but I go up for peanut chews. It's one of my favorite candies. And I didn't even know that the base peanut chew, like in peanut chews and base, not like Super Saiyan or anything like that. In base, peanut chews are what dark chocolate. Mean? Like, I don't even know what that means. Why, They're dark like, chocolate. Why are we dark comparing chocolate. peanut chews to Saiyans? Like, I don't. Because in, in base, like before, like no, no QB cloak or anything like that, like base peanut chews are dark chocolate. And I, I didn't know that until recently because I saw a milk chocolate one. And I was like, what the fuck? I've been eating these mm. my whole life. And I don't even like dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah. On that note, do you guys like the dark chocolate or white chocolate Reese's? Never had them. Mm, the white chocolate's okay. The dark chocolate is a little. It's it doesn't taste like dark. It kind of just tastes like milk chocolate part two. I mean, it doesn't really taste different. So mm. it's, yeah, it's just like a little. I guess what's the word? Uh, like richer. I guess like yeah, yeah, yeah. People get they so put just, about their dark chocolate. Yeah, they put just enough milk. So that they can still call it dark chocolate, but it's close closer to milk chocolate. Anytime somebody tells me that I need to drink wine with this, you can go fuck off. Like, oh. <laughs> it, I feel like dark chocolate is so pretentious. Like, people eating that shit with wine is ridiculous. Every time I see dark chocolate, I just get annoyed. But I, and it's weird because I apparently I like it on peanut chews specifically. But I think that if you put chocolate on peanuts, that you can't go wrong, though. I don't know. That wrapper is just not doing it for me. I can't. I can't get past the wrapper. The wrapper. It looks so. It's, you, the wrapper on peanut chews looks so old. It I, does. I can, I've never made it. Past that. Yeah, it might be triggering for us too, because like you know, if we go too far back, being black people, we're just like you know, we can't. It looks like it might be from those times. Like you know, like I get like I get a little scared. There is there is some candy that you can just tell it's old, like Fifth Avenue and Charleston Chew. Charleston, Charleston Chew. Chew. You can't tell me that a Charleston Chew didn't come from some racist ass. <laughs> place a uh, charleston chew that just sounds bad a uh, charleston chew the first time i heard that i thought it was tobacco i didn't think that it was candy at all honestly why is it not tobacco i feel I, like it I, should be it's named after tobacco but a charleston chew that shit sounds bad i like a i'm a big fan of like swedish fish Good little swedish fish yeah, yeah. or red fishies they're really good if you don't mind things getting stuck to your teeth in the roof of your I mouth i can't do the teeth yeah, yeah. the teeth thing they're, they're nostalgic for me. Like, I don't ever go out and get them, but I remember me when either. I was younger, I would eat them with my dad and stuff. Like, my dad would get them. And that's how I remember them. So, I guess I should bring up the fact that, like, when I, when I think of Swedish fish, I think about them being five cents. And let's just talk about prices for a second. When I was a kid, right, let's, back in my day, uh, Swedish fish, peanut chews, they were five cent candies. So, when I would go to the store with a dollar, I'd come out with, like, a bag of Doritos, uh, a pack of Oreos, and a bunch of Swedish fish because everything was just so cheap at the time, like 25 cents for a bag of chips, 50 cents for a thing of Oreos. I remember saying back in my day when I was like nine, because the corner store at my place when I was like six sold crybabies for a penny. So you could get 
literally a like a thing of a hundred crybabies for a penny. And by the time I was nine, they were like five cents or whatever. And I remember being nine, like, man, when I was little, like crybabies were a penny. <laughs> <laughs> Get up. All right. Any so anyway, this little ass but, kid. But crybabies are fire, about. man. Like I fucking love crybabies. I, I do like crybabies. I definitely ate them a lot as a kid. Like I wouldn't eat no shit like that now. I feel like that I was just would. if I could find them, dog, I'm going up. <laughs> I feel like there's something like a little mentally wrong nope. with going after crybabies in in your 30s. Like I feel like I feel like attacking like like you you made a conscious decision to mm-hmm. choose to have a sour face, right? Like <sighs> <laughs> oh, it's so good! It's you so made it good. At, at your big you chose age. To pucker up, huh? Yeah, you, cho- you I chose. chose I chose. Up. I will pucker you the fuck up. Bull. You chose the pucker. I'm puckering. I am puckering. Cause yeah, you can't find them anywhere. Like they're even more. Like I feel like you can't even find them at gas stations anymore. I only can ever find crybabies, and I don't ever do this because I'm not fucking chasing the ice cream man. Is on ice cream trucks. That's the only okay. place. That I can find that actually still sells crybabies for some fucking reason. They used to be trucks. five cents when I like when I was a kid. I always think about crybabies. Were, crybabies were in the same exact little glass displays next to the peanut chews that were five cents, the Swedish fish, and those little burgers. Little burgers. Oh, yeah. You can, can kind of take it's it like apart. Like chewy. Yeah, chewy little gummies. Yeah. Oh, speaking that. of speaking of chewy candy, uh, fruities. Oh my god, those are so good. A bag mm-hmm. of fruities. Like the yeah. Tootsie Roll looking. Okay. Yes, they look like Tootsie Rolls, but they're just not. Yeah. And and the thing about that is that Tootsie Rolls are fucking disgusting. Tootsie Rolls aren't it. What is a Tootsie Roll? Like, what are you eating? I what is it? Cotton candy, sweet. Oh. You're just <laughs> just <laughs> you're just eating black. You. It seems like you're eating an attempt at chocolate. Like if they tried <laughs> to make sure they failed. <laughs> it, like, they to to die. <laughs> it does. It does taste like a homunculus. Like it. Oh shit! <laughs> Not a homunculus. <laughs> Every time I've ever bitten into a Tootsie Roll was by accident. Like it, it just wasn't intentional ever. <laughs> it was never intentional, and ever, and I'm always Wait. disappointed. How? I know, yeah. right? You're probably wondering I'm how did wondering. I get here. I was. It's gonna like leave when it. you watch those movies. Like you're probably wondering how I got here. Every single time I eat a Tootsie Roll, it's a mistake. Because it's always like, oh, this is the only candy left. Now that should be my first sign that something is off. You look at like a candy bowl and the only thing left, you can tell people pick the one. Hey guys, if you like this clip, we have full video versions of our podcast episodes available on the I Am There Patreon, as well as exclusive content. If you'd like to listen to our full podcast episodes or find us on any other social media platforms, you can do so by clicking the link tree below.